The Paul brothers have always had a complicated relationship. Having grown up posting on YouTube, their lives have been documented for the world to see, and they've had a rocky journey to say the least. There were years where they were at each other's throats, years where they seemed like the best of friends, and years with everything in between. But amidst all that chaos, it seemed one thing was always consistent, their desire to outdo each other. Whether it was views, subscribers, money, they wanted more of it than the other had. And this rivalry ultimately turned out to be one of the biggest factors in their success. Now they're both known for far more than their YouTube careers, having both built successful businesses and become massive draws in boxing and wrestling. But even with all their accomplishments, Jake and Logan haven't managed to figure out their own relationship. It seems Jake has matured and now just wishes the best for Logan, but Logan is still hell-bent on being better than him, and his obsession has brought them both into the spotlight for all the wrong reasons. On August 8th, 2023, Logan invited Jake onto an episode of Impulsive. They'd both just come off huge wins in their respective sports, with Logan defeating Ricochet in the WWE on the same night Jake won his boxing match against Nate Diaz. This was an awesome achievement and it must have been a special moment for them as brothers, but from how they spoke to each other on the podcast, you'd never have guessed it. Half an hour into the episode, Logan spoke about wanting to fight Tommy Fury to avenge Jake, to which Jake responded saying it's his business to handle, alluding to a rematch with Tommy. Logan then said they'd have to see, claiming Jake sniped the Nate Diaz fight from him and he's been lenient with Jake in giving him his opponents. You definitely sniped the Nate Diaz fight from me and I've been so lenient in giving you your <laughs> opponents and I think it's But my it's not, wait, it's not your option to give me my opponents. <laughs> This rubbed Jake the wrong way, which was obvious to see. But rather than backing off, Logan decided to double down on his words. So it's not your option to like give me my fights. It, that me and Nate Diaz have been talking about that for years, and then you popped up and were like, "No, now it's my turn. I want that fight." And then start talking shit, and then try to like get the fight at in Saudi Arabia, like on the microphone, and like trying to like jump in on all of these things. I think I'm better than you. And I think Nate chose you for a reason. And I think everyone knows that. When questioned by Jake on what he'd done to be able to say that, Logan said he went toe to toe with the greatest fighter to ever live in Floyd Mayweather and went on to claim that fighters are consistently avoiding him. So the people, motherfuckers are avoiding me. They are avoiding me or, or picking someone else. And that's obnoxious. Is and, there, and, is and, there... and, and everyone, everyone secretly knows why. No one wants to say it because I, because I have an 0-1-1 record and I wasn't able to knock out the best fighter of all time. But I think it's fucking obvious, bro. I'm very athletic and I've gotten the hang of boxing in the past two years after beating Fighting the Goat. As the episode went on, Logan continued to talk up his boxing skills while undermining Jake and what he's achieved, even suggesting that he's a bigger pay-per-view draw than Jake is. Not only was this surprising because Logan has significantly less boxing experience than Jake, but also because he publicly devalued what his brother has dedicated the last several years of his life to. When they were talking about the Tommy fight, it came across like Logan only wanted it in hopes of beating him and thereby proving he's better than Jake, rather than the vengeance story he was playing up. If for whatever reason it doesn't go in KSI's favor, the story arc, the vengeance arc of avenging my business partner and brother is right there. I think I, you, I think you just I think you just want to beat Tommy to to be able to say that you're better than me at boxing. Well, I'll never fight you, and I don't want to fight JJ again. But but I think that's like I think that's more so what it's sounding like. Now, I don't need to tell you that a lot of people aren't a big fan of Jake, but in the comment section of the podcast, people were showing him nothing but support. Logan really showed his jealousy on this episode. True feelings were shared from both and Jake was in the right the whole time. Jake was 100% in the right in this conversation. Logan was trying so hard to belittle his brother's achievements, which was sad to witness. This episode really showed how toxic Logan's ego is becoming. Logan needs to support Jake's achievements and stop trying to make everything revolve around him. Jake has been dealing with Logan's narcissism for years, so maybe this wasn't surprising to him. But Logan bringing him onto Impulsive only to ambush him was really a low blow. Despite Jake maintaining a fairly calm demeanor, he was genuinely hurt by the things Logan said. And nine days after the Impulsive podcast was released, he spoke out about the situation on his own podcast. He explained that he feels Logan has envy and jealousy towards him, but he struggles to understand why because they should be on the same team. It's the, it's him undermining me and being condescending towards me and trying to little bro me and discrediting everything that I do. And it's like, why? We're on the same team. But it doesn't seem like they are, at least not from where Logan's standing. And Jake's friends spend a lot of the podcast trying to convince him of that. Yeah, but it's been, it's like ongoing. It's been years of like you being undermined. And it's evident, like yeah. everyone knows that, like in personal relationships, on the internet, you can see it everywhere. And everyone knows it. And like, you're the only person 
who doesn't speak. Like you, you, you let him win every time. For me, the, the most frustrating thing out of that whole conversation for me was hearing him undermine you and belittle you with these snarky comments about we we know who the better fighter is come on jake we come yeah. on buddy come on yeah. come on little bro yeah. we know it's clear logan doesn't have the same respect and love for jake as jake does for him and it turns out this has been the case since they were kids for me as the little brother it's always like team 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 we did this together we started our youtube channel together and and basically like off camera he was basically like no like i never respected you when we were kids and yeah, that's fucking and terrible. and like I thought you were a failure, and all this shit, and I was just like, so you didn't even like respect me as a brother because I was always there for you and trained for sports with you and played with you in the woods and built forts together and we were best friends. But it sounded like Logan only kept Jake around when it was convenient for him because later in the podcast, Jake admitted that he felt deeply lonely growing up. He said he rarely had anyone to play with, was never allowed to hang out with Logan when he was with his friends, and resorted to riding his bike around the city, asking random kids if they wanted to hang out. According to Jake, Logan only began to respect him when he started to find success online. But from there, their relationship just turned into one big competition. They became obsessed with views, followers, and money, and would do just about anything to get more. Jake wanted to prove he was legit and worthy of his brother's respect, and Logan wanted to prove he was the bigger and better brother. Things got so toxic between them that they began making diss tracks about each other and they both said things they came to regret. But words are one thing and actions are another and Logan ended up taking things way too far. Jake dated a girl named Alyssa Violet from 2015 to 2017. The two had a rocky relationship full of ups and downs, and Jake treated her pretty poorly while they were together. At the time, they lived in the same content house, so they spent most days together. But even though they were very close and had strong feelings for each other, Jake would regularly bring other girls home while Alyssa was just in the next room. I would be like downstairs in the kitchen, like making breakfast or something. I'd just get back from the gym, I'd be cooking food, and then all of a sudden I'd hear them upstairs like, hear it i could literally hear it like do you know what that does to a person that you like love and then you could just hear them like banging another girl upstairs one day jake organized a snowboarding trip with their mutual friends but when Alyssa asked to go he told her she can't apparently he wanted to hook up with one of the girls he invited so he didn't want her around this really upset her and while jake was away she asked logan to meet up Alyssa, logan and a group of friends then went out to the club and while there logan made a move on her i was so pissed off I was so fed up, I was so hurt, I was so disgusted. I just was at my breaking point. And then I hit up Logan and I was like, yo, like, let's hang out. And then we all went to a club, like a bunch of our friends together. And then me and Logan hooked up. And I don't even feel comfortable saying that alone. Like it's, I'm still disgusted by it it's not who I am. There's no denying that Jake treated her badly, but they had an intimate relationship for years that Logan was well aware of. And despite having that knowledge, he decided to sleep with her anyway. This was a defining moment in Jake and Logan's relationship because even now, amidst everything else going on, it's still getting brought up. Take higher road. He does it, take higher road, take higher road, take higher road. And he like, fucks your girlfriend. Yeah, and exactly, and it's like, take higher road don't expose that oh now he wants to expose it himself okay but i just don't even perpetuate it at this point logan's already sounding like a pretty bad brother but there were even more outrageous things he said in that impulsive podcast logan had a really big issue with jake's team not allowing him to bring prime into the arena for his fight against nate no i disagree i disagree nikisa banned the zone from mentioning or bringing in prime to the stadium they said i would get kicked out if i brought a prime bottle that's fucking ridiculous, dude. But the reason he wasn't allowed made perfect sense. The lead sponsor for the event was Celsius, a competitor to Prime. To have Logan walk in with a Prime bottle when he would no doubt have dozens of cameras on him would completely undermine Celsius. They paid millions of dollars to sponsor and therefore be promoted at the event. Yet Logan expected to be able to promote Prime without paying a single dollar. Come on, I'm your brother building a oh, business. Oh yeah, you're, you're my brother who's, building a business. You love to play both sides, who's bro. He? You have a prime card coming up. If you walked in with a Celsius headband to it, you probably would say that's unacceptable. I don't give a fuck. You're getting paid millions of dollars by, by Celsius. Yeah, they're our competitor, but like, dude, come on. Logan's entitlement here was bad enough, but just nine months earlier, the exact same situation occurred in reverse and Logan had a very different stance. Yo, f you, by the way. Oh my <laughs> goodness. What is going oh. on? Why? Why? 
Why'd you blur my logo? Oh, the better logo? Mm -hmm. You. I knew you were gonna ask this. You blurred his Actually, logo? Actually, no, I didn't. I figured you'd understand. You know why I blurred it. You know damn well why I blurred it. Don't, don't, bro, don't give me this. Bro. You know damn well why I blurred your logo on Johnny's parachute. I don't know why. Johnny the Julius, who's right there, base jumped yesterday before Jake's fight. His parachute, when he opened it, has a giant better logo on it. He's a better ambassador, a better athlete. B-E-T-R, Jake's uh, uh, gambling app. Bro, well, I'm it's also a sports media company. Cur so it's it doubles, it doubles. It's Brother, not just sports betting. I love you to death, but I'm a Barstool <laughs> yeah, ambassador. I know, I know. I'm a Barstool <laughs> ambassador for the Barstool I know, Sports I know, I know, I know, I'm just kidding. It's a shame Jake didn't recall this during their argument because it would have been a slam dunk. It goes to show that Logan chops and changes his position on things depending on what suits him best, giving no regard to Jake and how things impact him. And later in the podcast, Jake made it very clear that's how he feels. When Prime can't go into the building, we're brothers! When you want to partner with Dana White and KSI, you're your own entity. Jake has said on other podcasts how much he wants to partner up and build a business with Logan, but Logan has always avoided it. Instead, he chose to build a business with KSI, someone his brother hates. Still, Jake has done his best to support him, but Logan has taken advantage of that. On August 1st, 2023, Netflix released a documentary on Jake's life from his early days on YouTube to his journey as a professional boxer. The documentary covered his struggles at home, including the abusive relationship he had with his father and how finding boxing saved his life. It was intended to be an intimate look into Jake's world, but sadly, it was sabotaged by Logan. Yeah, but from, from Jake's point of view, what it feels like, and you're right, it's a great documentary, and it, as a viewer, unbiasedly, it, it, it's great to watch, but from Jake's point of view, what he maybe won't say is that his whole fucking life, Logan has made anything that's great and big for Jake about Logan somehow, one way or another, he makes it about him. And this is supposed to be Jake's big fucking break where Jake finally gets a documentary about himself and it's Jake to the world and this is huge for Jake. And then Jake turns it on and it's fucking Logan. And it's not just Logan, it's prime everywhere. And it's not just prime everywhere, it's Logan talking condescendingly about Jake with these under, these snide little comments in Jake's own fucking documentary. I think it's impressive how much patience Jake has with his brother. Logan has shown time and time again that he will always put himself first, yet Jake continuously gives him more chances. Perhaps at some point, Logan will step back and realize his shortcomings, but I for one, I'm not holding my breath. 